I'm Henry Gray, I'm 23 from Newcastle, currently a bar worker uh, and I've got a condition called lexical gustatory synesthesia which is basically where I experience senses through other senses and what I get is that I can, with sound, I can taste, smell, feel or kind of see sounds, particularly words, particularly names. You know, as early back as I can remember, I've always got something with names. It, I just thought it was normal. I think it was about, when I was about nine or 10, that was when I, I first was told that this was something that no one else had, you know? Because I always remember thinking, you know, how does no one else understand that Maggie is like eggs and egginess? Lily is like watery, elderflower juice, you know? But these things that I'd said, that my mum had heard, that my teacher had heard, eventually they came together on parents evening, told each other, that's when they realised, and then they told me. I do get a lot of people kind of at first hand being like, you're making this up, you're making this up, like surely you can't taste names, surely you, surely you don't get a feeling when, when, you, when you say a word, when you say a name. Some people get really fascinated in me, I'll get like a random text from them saying, look I need you to just taste my friends' names that I'm with because I've gone on holiday and I've met people and I've told them that I know a boy who has synesthesia, please can you tell them what the name tastes like? So it's nice to be able to kind of educate them and like inform them about it. When I'm talking right now, it's not like I'm getting some intrusive, you know, a taste here, a smell here, a feeling here, you'd think, does that not make you nauseous? But that's not what I get because it's like background noise because I'm so used to it now and it's been something that's been a part of my life forever. There are certain situations where a word might be emphasised. Obviously names are the strongest by far. And my own name, Henry, has always been a kind of, I imagine it being white bread, no crusts, kind of soft, um, sort of something like cheese and lettuce inside of it and it's wrapped in cling film and it's slightly squashed in a lunchbox. My favourite male names are, first of all, Bailey. I love Bailey, it's like, it tastes like warm milk. I love Niall, because Niall, it's like when you go into like a JD shop, you get like a fresh tennis ball and you just sniff it, like Niall smells like a fresh tennis ball. Mitchell's really nice, it's like stringy, stretchy, tuna cheese and pasta, but specifically the shell pasta, like Francesca, it's like silky, smooth, kind of chocolatey iced frappuccino, but it's like filling every crevice of my mouth, especially like here. Kirsty's horrible, it smells like a faint sort of urine smell. Boris Johnson is kind of like slowly squishing a beetle with my foot and then like, like squishing it with my foot and then mushing it around. Donald Trump is like, again, squishing something, squishing like an inflatable rubber duck and it kind of, def it kind of deflates as you just squish it. So it does affect who I kind of surround myself with, I guess. When it comes to relationships, it is about, I'd say, 78% of it is, is the name. The name is so important. Because uh, I could never, I could never date someone who had a sort of offensively bad name to me. So, yeah. My name's Henry Gray and I've got synesthesia.